The most commonly used lenses for Canon cameras can typically be found at Best Buy stores, so new photographers and videographers have fairly quick access to what is referred to as either starter or mid-level lenses. If you're in the market for new lenses, you might research which ones might best suit you, but you still might not know or have an idea of what focal length would be best for certain scenarios. So let's look at the most commonly used and accessible lenses found at Best Buy and do a side-by-side -side comparison with each lens and discuss some of their strengths, their weaknesses, and give you a better idea of the focal length of these somewhat budget-friendly lenses. Before we get started today, Please, if you haven't already, please subscribe, hit that like button, hit the notification bell for upcoming content, and let's do some reviews on some of these lenses. When you get the grasp of what you want in a lens, it is, then it'll make your job a lot easier to figure out what lens to use per every scenario. The first lens we're gonna show is the 24 millimeter fixed. Fixed by meaning that you can't zoom in, and typically fixed lenses allow you to have a more open aperture and allow a lot more light in. And you can figure that out by when you're looking at the lens and say it says it's a 1.8 or a 2.4 on there and you see those numbers on there on a fixed lens, that means, well one, there's only one type of lighting that goes into it, that's as low as it'll go, and they're really good for low light scenarios. Now any of the lenses that you wanna use that have some zoom features will also have two sets of numbers on the front of your lens and you can have a this one here for instance is a 4.5 to 5.6 so not the greatest in low light scenario this is my 10 to 18 millimeter it's got image stabilization it's very common uh, lens for a wide angle if you'll notice as you zoom in and out on any of these videos that I presented for you here you'll see the stops of light changing and it should only adjust you can see the, sh the adjustment of light going from 10 at 12 to 14 16 and then 18 and then back now that's not something that you would want to use when you're doing live video shoots and you see all of a sudden the lighting change uh, that would be a nightmare to try to color grade and, and adjust your lighting in post but the more expensive lenses will have a constant these are variable lenses that means that it does change per every stop but the constant, like for instance, I have a very, very expensive, and it's a, my only expensive lens, be honest with you, is my Sigma uh, 18 to 35 millimeter. And it is a constant, and it's a 1.8 aperture lens that allows in a lot of light. It's got the autofocus and manual focus knobs on it. Uh, but as you'll see in this video, that as you zoom in and out, that 1.8 remains constant throughout. Now as for the 18 to 55 millimeter, same as the last zoom lens, you'll see the stops of light in between each zoom in and zoom out. And that's not something you wanna do while you're videoing. And also, we have our regular zoom lens of 75 to 300 millimeter. And I use this one a lot at night for some nighttime photography and I keep the shutter open a lot longer so I can get all of that light in as possible. And then I'll color grade it and make sure that there's no grain in anything in there. And you can pretty much do that with any lens of any stop of light. Uh, the longer you leave it open, the longer it has an opportunity to catch any light that you have coming from. So nighttime photography for any of these lenses is actually quite possible. To recap the lenses, here we have each of the five lenses in their innermost fixed position just to give you an idea of their focal range. And now, the zoomable lenses and how they can be adjusted just to give you a better idea of what might work best for you. And there you have it. Each of these lenses will be listed down below, so you can go research them and find which one works best for you. These lenses are a great start to build upon because not only are they versatile, but cheaper than Canon's professional line, which gets into multiple thousands of dollars. Knowing this, you might not know that Best Buy also price matches, so if you see a sale for any of these lenses at a reputable vendor, 
and can prove that sell purchase price, you could even save yourself more money. Thanks for joining me today and please consider supporting me by subscribing, hitting that like button, and that notification bell so I can create more content to help you with your computing, camera, and YouTube studio needs. Have a nice day.